Hello friends. Have you ever experienced a mild shock when you touch certain appliances while in operating condition? Sometimes these shocks can be dangerous and can lead to a major hazards. To avoid mishappenings, it is always advisable to have a proper earthing done to the building. This process of sharing the charges with the earth is called as earthing. Earthing is a simple way for leakage of current and hence protects the devices from electrical damage. It also protects our home appliances from lightning strokes. Earthing is the immediate release of electrical energy by passing charges directly to the earth using a low resistance wire. The different forms of earthing systems are used such as plate earthing system, strip or wire earthing system, rod earthing system and pipe earthing system. Now let us understand the earthing procedure. To ensure safety, earthing can be done by connecting the electrical appliance to earthing systems or electrodes placed near the soil or below the ground level. The electrode or earthing mat equipped with a flat iron riser is installed under the ground level. It helps to connect all the non-current carrying metallic parts of the equipment. When the overload current is passed through the equipment or when the fault occurs in the system due to current, the fault current from the equipment flows through the earthing system. A building has three different types of wires live neutral and earth live and neutral carry electric current from power station and the earth is connected to the buried metal plate when in use electric equipment like tvs iron boxes and refrigerators are linked to the ground wire as a result these gadgets are protected from shocks or poor electrical supplies local earthing is done near the electrical meter of the house now let us discuss types of electric earthing systems one by one pipe earthing pipe earthing is a common method of connecting to the earth's electrical conductors by using steel pipe galvanized steel pipe with a diameter of 38 mm and a length of 2 meters is used as an earth electrode in pipe earthing by being laid vertically in the ground the amount of moisture in the soil and the strength of current influence the size of iron pipe that needs to be used the soil's moisture will determine the maximum depth at which the steel pipe may be installed the finest and most effective method of earthing is pipe earthing which is also easily affordable plate earthing for this form of earthing a plate composed of copper or galvanized iron is placed vertically in the ground pit less than 3 meters above the ground for a more effective electrical grounding system one must maintain the earth's moisture condition surrounding the plate earthing system this plate is attached to electrical wires to redirect the electric charge within the earth strip or wire earthing in this form of earthing strip electrodes with a minimum cross sectional area of 6 square mm and a minimum depth of 0.5 meter are buried in horizontal trenches if the electrodes are made of galvanized iron or steel their cross sectional area shall not be less than 25 mm by 1.6 mm when buried in the ground a conductor with a minimum length of 15 meter would provide enough earth resistance rod earthing in this method of earthing a copper rod with a galvanized steel pipe is placed vertically into the ground the length of implanted electrodes reduces the earth's resistance the rod used for this purpose is buried in the dirt at a certain depth securely diverting the short circuit electricity to the ground This earthing technique is suitable for sandy areas and is also very budget friendly. Advantages of earthing. The safest and most effective way to provide safety for a building from electrocution is through earthing. The earth has low potential and is considered neutral. 
Balancing is accomplished because low resistance cable links low equipment to the ground. Metal may be utilized in electrical systems without considering its conductivity since it won't transmit current if properly earthed. If sufficient earthing precautions are taken, a rapid increase in voltage or overload has no negative effects on the object or the user. It reduces the possibility of fire hazards that the current leakage may otherwise bring about. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.